Hey everyone, we are here with Zach Guilford, star of Friday Night Lights and Postgrad, his new movie opening today with Alexis Bledel. We talked about that film, returning for his final arc on the football drama, and I hate to break it to you, he does not think Matt should be with Julie. Just saying. You said it. You're selling me out. They're gonna see She's it in a like a girl. second. She's cool. They're All gonna right. see it. Fine. Go see Postgrad. <laughs> Your character in the film is a musician and you sing in the movie, but I'm wondering, was that actually you? It was actually me, which was, uh, you know, I had to step out of my box for that. I was definitely very nervous. It was very scary for me. And then like standing up in front of everyone and having this song play over and over and over again. And I'm just sitting there like, oh my God, they hate it. They're getting so tired of hearing me sing and watching me pretend to sing it. Like, it was just like terrifying. Friday Night Lights, is it different now being the one who sort of has to face the reality of leaving the show. You know, we all knew going in that very few of us were going to be there for the longevity of it, just because it's about high school and you can't stay in high school forever, um, you know, unless it's the original Beverly Hills, not a 2 You know, it's it, like leaving a family, just leaving a bunch of friends, um, finishing college, you know, bring it back to this. It's like <laughs> finishing a chapter in my life and just having to figure out what's next. One of the sort of through lines through all the seasons has been uh, Saracen's relationship with Julie. Are they together? Are they broken up? Do you think they belong together? <laughs> I mean, to be honest, I've th I haven't thought they belong together since day one. Really? I'm like the only person. I get so much <laughs> crap for it. She's mean to him. Like, she takes him for granted. Like, I don't know why he ever liked her and why, like, he spent nine episodes trying to get her, but I guess it's because they're the two people in Dylan who, like, get it and, like, you know, think bigger picture. So in that sense, it makes sense. But she, I mean, he's such a great guy. And she treats him like crap. I think we all want to see Matt have a happy ending because he's had a lot of hard hardship. Yeah. So I hope it's not, you know, all rainbows and unicorns, but, you know, and I hope we're not, I hope he's not dead. <laughs> like, <laughs> I worked on uh, the River Y, which is based on a, um, the River Y and A River Runs Through It are kind of the two fly fishing novels. How did you do with the fly fishing? Were you good at it? Not so much? No, yeah, no, I totally picked it up. Yeah. Um, I'm an outdoorsy kind of guy, so it wasn't really, I mean, I hadn't fly fished before and I got to go to Idaho for a week and train or learn or whatever. And all the people there, all the fly fishing people, they kept saying, they're like, they're like, you don't want to do it like Brad Pitt did it in River Runs. He didn't look, you look at him and you're like, he's not fly fishing. He had his elbow out here. You want to have your elbow in here? I'm like, okay, keep my elbow in. And so like the whole time, I'm always like, just keep my elbow in. Just keep my elbow in. I think I'm good at doing things naturally. So, you know, not to say I wouldn't be, you know, the next Jason Bourne or something. If I had the opportunity, I would love to. And those are a little larger than life. But it's kind of like just a little heightened reality. It's like technically that could happen. I'm not a huge fan of you know, robots beating each other up. But I would totally be a part of it if someone wanted me to. I will sell out if the price is right. Come on down. Zach Guilford, come on down. What am I talking about? Oh, yeah. Um, here we go. Postgrad, you're talking about postgrad. I'm sorry, what are we talking about? I don't know.